So what I have here is a little juvenile alpine blotch blue tongue. We're here in the Blue Mountains today looking for Highlands copperhead snakes and we've just managed to find this little blotch blue tongue. He's a pretty nice coloured one. I'd say he'd be this season's offspring. He's only small. He'll grow a lot bigger than this, probably about twice the size. Yeah, so he's very, very cute. Um, last time I was here, I actually found two adults, so he could be possibly be their offspring. He's hissing quite a lot, and he's just peed all over me. They're a beautiful little blue tongue. So up here in the mountains, you get these guys and the easterns, but down um, down back in Sydney, you don't you don't get these guys. Um, and in Victoria and um, Tasmania, you get the lowland form. So they're just a bit darker than these guys, not as bright, and the oranges on the back. All right, so I'm just gonna release the little juvenile botch blue tongue back where I found him. Finding tin like this in the bush is always great. It's a herper's dream. Um, snakes and uh, other reptiles love to go under the tin because it heats up and they can warm up underneath the tin on a co nice cold day when the sun comes out. So we're gonna flip all this and hopefully we can find something good. This is a big Eastern blue tongue that I've just flipped under this piece of tin. Oh, he's a nice one. Big Eastern blue. Second blue tongue we found today. This is just a normal eastern. Get these guys up in the mountains as well as the blotch blue tongues, which we found earlier. He's got a nice caramel tinged belly to him. Pretty dark on top. Yeah, he's a nice one though. Eastern blue tongue back. Oh, All right, so this is just a little mountain heath dragon. This is a pretty nice looking one too. Got that nice red all over his head. Just saw him there. These guys are often confused with Jackie Dragons, especially when these guys are a lot lighter. They look a lot like Jackie Dragons. But yeah, it's just a cute little mountain dragon. Yes. It's only small. This is a mustard-bellied snake, guys. The scientific name is Drysdalia rhodogaster. Now these are an incredibly rare snake found here in the Blue Mountains. This is only a small one. Oh, never seen one of these before. They're mildly venomous a lapid, so they're a front fang venomous snake, but only mildly venomous. This is a nice little one. So Dad just flipped the tin there, and I think this is the one that took off from there, and I just saw it coiled up in the sun. Oh yes, I'm happy. Um, Unlike most other mildly venomous snakes, these guys are not reluctant biters, so they will bite you. So I've got to be pretty cautious when handling them. They're also known as a Blue Mountains crown snake, but they're not in the crown snake family. My hands are shaking, I'm actually so excited. So we're just gonna release this beautiful mustard-bellied snake that we found back under the piece of tin. She goes.